Hello, future Krakens. It's great to have all of you here this evening. Super excited to see so many people joining us and we're gonna get started. So first off, we do wanna make sure that everybody knows that K-Tech is not your traditional technical high school. This is certainly a high school that gives you those skills and certifications that you can go straight into the workforce and make a high paying job. But we're also gonna make sure that every student is ready to go on to a four year university. Coming in as an eighth grader, you may not necessarily know what it is that you're gonna do for the rest of your life. You may think you do and then change your mind. So that's what our vision is about, making sure that every choice that you make, that every pathway will be open for you. So we're super excited and now I'm gonna turn it over to Mr. Aegis. Good evening, everyone. My name is Rob Aegis. I'm the director at Fred K. Marchman Technical College and I wanna welcome uh, all the students and their families with us tonight. Uh, we have an, an exciting night planned for you uh, as an open house, a virtual open house. And so um, we are the partners, uh, we being Fred K. Marchman Technical College and Wendell Crin Technical High School. And we uh, work very closely together and collaborate uh, all the time. But we at Fred K. Marchman Technical College, we provide student-centered learning, which is guided by the needs of business to provide the knowledge and skills necessary for today's workforce. And so we really do focus in on preparing your students for uh, the next step, which is workforce. And you'll see along throughout this presentation where we work together and really prepare them for not just the workforce, but uh, beyond, uh, beyond high school, whether it be a dual enrollment opportunity or advanced placement opportunity, but we, we really hone in on the knowledge and skills necessary for the workforce. And we'll talk more about that as we get into our presentation. And again, welcome. All right, so the vast majority of you, um, we have about 183 people that have joined us for this next year. So new students coming in, we're excited about that. We have all but about 15 that did not get their schedules. We are still working on those and we will get them out to you as soon as possible, but we had a couple pieces we just wanted to get finalized to get those out and we will send them to you shortly. But what you, you will all see is that you are all setting up for a program of study, which has a pretty well scripted list of courses that you're gonna be taking. We don't have all the options that a typical high school would have. We don't have your arts and your musics and your bands and those types of things. You're signing up for a career and you're gonna get more than you can get in any other school because you're at K-Tech. Most high schools, when you go into a career program, you're gonna get two to maybe four, if you're lucky, classes in your area of interest. When you're coming to K-Tech, you're gonna get eight classes in your area of interest. So this is a quick look at biomedical. If someone were going into that program, you can see that in the beginning, your first six, or first five periods of the day is really your four classes. Then your sixth and seventh classes would be your career classes. Now that's not your actual schedule. We're just letting you know that in biomed, robotics and electronics, and cybersecurity, you have classes in your area of interest every year. And then you'll take your core classes on top of that. You're also gonna see that Spanish one and two is mixed in there because we do want all of our students to take a foreign language. If you choose not to take Spanish, you could take another foreign language on eSchool, but every student is going to take two years of a foreign language, because again, we want you ready to go to a four-year university if at the end you make that decision that that's what you want to do, or right now you know that that's what you want to do. We have lots of students who have taken the auto service program, and they've then gone straight to the business in their college or university because they want to own their own business in the auto sector. So lots of great opportunities. As you're coming in, when you looked at your schedules, you probably saw that you were in the math that would be next on the list. So many of you are coming in in the biomedical program already having Algebra 1 honors. So you would go straight into the geometry and we would just move you along the continuum. So you'll definitely see that we definitely moved students along the continuum in those classes. But when you got that, you also saw if you were in one of the Marchman programs that you would be a slightly different schedule in that in ninth and 10th grade, you take one class in your area of interest and then your junior and senior year, you get these giant three period blocks of time where you really can get hands on and get involved into these programs. Otherwise, the schedule is pretty much the same, but those program classes are a little different when you look at that level. So reminder, you do get 28 plus one credits. All of our students will need to take HOPE online. On top of that though, again, you get the eight courses. You're gonna see more opportunities for advanced placement and dual enrollment 
especially dual enrollment, than any other high school. With those course cards that you were emailed today, if you do have a question or something that you're looking at, you definitely can click on there was a link provided to take a look at that. For the most part, we should have you set. You should be taking the classes that are necessary for the program that you're interested in. But if you have a question about it, please definitely click on that link and let us know your thoughts or areas of concern. Dual enrollment's a big one for us. And there's gonna be a session later this evening that you can look at. We wanna remind you that with dual enrollment, you have a great opportunity to get college taken care of for free um, right here at KTech. And we offer more dual enrollment classes than any other high school by a long shot. And we can do that because we're joined with Marchman Technical College who can also offer some of our courses. So here's some examples. I'm just gonna provide one example to remind everybody what dual enrollment is. If you get to that junior year and you wanna take comp one and comp two instead of your junior language arts class, you can do that. What would that would mean is from August until December, you would take comp one. That would give you your junior high school English credit along with three college credits. Then from January until May, you would take comp two. You would get your senior high school English credit and three more college credits. So in that one period, you got six college credits, two high school credits, and now you have an opening in your senior year to take another dual enrollment or another elective, something you're interested in. If you look at this sheet, you can pretty much get your entire AA degree without ever leaving KTEC's campus. No other high school can offer this. Um, taking a look at that, this is one of the things we're very proud of and we hope students take advantage of because we can provide pretty much everything. We have a teacher going back to school this summer so that they can offer the humanities credits. You're gonna see we have those listed as pending. So those six humanities credits can be offered and give people an opportunity to take those as well. So it's a great opportunity if you are interested in moving on to college and getting a lot of classes and credits taken for you. Certifications is another piece that's huge for us. We definitely are making sure that all of our students get as many certifications as possible. At most high schools, you'll see that they were trying to get students to get one certification, one piece, because that's what gets a school a grade. It gives you that acceleration point in the school grading formula. We're not after that. We obviously want you to get one. We want you to get two, three, four, five, six, whatever we can get you to earn. We've had a cybersecurity student who earned nine certifications in one year. This is the goal for the four years, but obviously students may earn others and additionals as they're going through. But you can see from this one, you've got eight certifications that is our goal for our students to earn in cybersecurity. And we have students leaving straight out of cybersecurity, getting $40,000 a year internships with no college debt. Within the first year, they're making 60,000 and their college is being paid for. Great opportunities in all of our programs. You can make great money coming out of well, all these different things. Here's the quick list of our programs. So obviously you mostly know what they are because you were all signed up for them. But I did want to point out the three on KTEX campus are cybersecurity, robotics and electronics, and biomedical. The other 10 are actually on Marchman's campus. And you'll walk next door for your program classes. Here's a quick look at where that will be. Unfortunately, you can't walk it today, but do remember we will have a registration day in August, which will give you an opportunity to actually walk your class schedule when you get it. So you can see what it's like and go from room to room. But you're gonna see that actually Mar uh, Marchman Technical College is on the far left and on the far right is Wendell Crane Technical High School. So basically you walk a little trail past the tennis courts and baseball field, past the width of the football stadium, and then you're at Marchman Technical College. You get plenty of time to do this. So you're gonna see this is our schedule that we're looking at for next year. So 720 start to 15 end. What happens next year is we're looking at our ninth and 10th graders going over for the first period of the day. So they would be there for 720 till 810 if they're at Marchman, 816 if they're on KTEX campus. We have a little extra buffer built in so the kids have time to walk back over. So if you're at Marchman for the beginning of the day as a ninth or 10th grader, you actually have 10 minutes to walk and get back over here. So plenty of time. If you're a junior or senior, you go over big blocks. So you would leave first period at 816 and you have until 825 to get over to Marchman. So plenty of time once again to get over there and make that walk. And obviously you can see the time back and you guys get the gist of it. We have plenty of time for you to get over there to make sure that you can get to those classes and enjoy all the classes and teachers that Marchman has. 
what you'll see too is that the ninth and 10th graders are all by themselves. Marchman shuts down to all of their adult learners through that ninth and 10th grade timeframe. It's just our high school students taking advantage of the amazing curriculum that they have and all the pieces. You're gonna see draft on the back of this because we are firming this up with transportation and making sure everything is exactly how we want it because we are making a couple little tweaks for next year. Um, but this is what we expect it to be, um, but we are working on it. With that walk, I wanna remind you that we do have two corporals. We have a corporal on KTEC's campus and a corporal on Marchman's campus. We have two discipline IAs. We have a custodial crew that is actually housed out on that trail and are obviously our administration. So we have a great way to monitor all the students as they're making those transitions on our campuses and making sure that we keep everybody safe. Transportation is a big one. These are not your transportation times. These are the transportation times that were working in 19 and 20. We anticipate the times being pretty much these, but we want to do, do want to make sure that you know what they are or the approximate times. Transportation will firm those up for us later, but you can see that you can drop kids off to any of these high schools and they can catch a bus over. They can also, of course, if they're doing sports, they can catch the bus from our school back to their local zoned high school to jump on there and get back in time for their sports. So if you're playing any sports, you can do that. Remember, we have a ton of athletes here at KTEC. We have the, we have captains of swim teams. We have captains of baseball teams. We have football players, cheerleaders, volleyball players. We have weightlifters, wrestlers, all that are here at KTEC. They just go back to their zone school to do that. And it's been a great opportunity for our students because they get to play with those kids that they know from middle school and stick with that friend group. So it's been a really good opportunity for them. All right, we're gonna get into, Mark's been talking to you a little bit more about attendance and some of the pieces that they wanna make sure that we key in on as well. Ms. Trangis. As Dr. Dunny has been talking about time, time is really, really critical. You heard me uh, at the top of the presentation really talk about uh, the knowledge and skills uh, necessary for today's workforce. So attendance really does matter. Um, and I certainly wanna welcome our, our new students who are new to the high school experience. And three years ago, when we developed this partnership, we wanted to make sure that everyone was safe and secure. So uh, parents of ninth and 10th graders who are new to the, to the campus, please be assured that we have shut the campus down just to allow our ninth and 10th graders to take over the college so that there wouldn't be any intermingling between our 14 year olds or 15 year olds and our 30 or 40 year old students because we do serve uh, adult uh, learners here on the Marchman campus. But getting right down to uh, the demands of the workforce. In the workforce, you're expected to be to your job on time. We expect you to be to class on time. We expect you to uh, be in attendance consistently. So we expect you to be in attendance almost every day. And when you're here, we expect you to participate as much as you possibly can. Realizing that everybody's at a different level, but participation is really, really critical. We at Marchman Technical College, we operate by a clock hour system, not a credit hour system, but a clock hour system. Every program is at in a certain length of time. Our expectation is that all of our students, including our adults and our high school students, attend each and every program for 95% of the time. If students do not attend class regularly, then completion is really, really at risk. And there are some implications to that as we get into later slides. Of course, this year with COVID, we've made some allowances when it comes to attendance, uh, certainly using the virtual format or makeup time. But in, uh, beyond this year, when everyone's expected to get back to some sort of normalcy, time is really, really critical. So missing classes for, will most likely result in delayed program completion. So if you recall when Dr. Dunny put on that program of study, it is our goal to uh, provide an opportunity for students to complete all those dual enrollment credits, those AP credits, but also complete a program, a complete program of study. And so if absences get in the way, it is almost impossible for you to complete the entire program of study during your high school. So um, those hours will be at risk. And a lot of times your grade will be at risk because we do um, uh, integrate employability skills, 
when we're grading our students. Because again, our end goal is to provide the knowledge and skills necessary for today's workforce. I mentioned that the attendance was 95%. We do expect that. Uh, we do have um, staff here to encourage students to stay on task, to be uh, in school, both at Wendell Crin and at Marchman Technical College. So in the later slides, Chris, if you wanna go ahead to the next slide, here's, a, here's an example of what I'm talking about when, when I'm talking about program time uh, for your student. A student who is in the 11th grade, if he misses eight absences during that year, we meet for three hours at a time. Dr. Dunning mentioned the block of time. So eight times three, well, um, eight absences times uh, three, three periods is, um, well, it's 24 hours absent. So 12th grade, the same. If it's eight absences by three periods, it's again, it's 24 uh, hours. So it's really, really critical that um, hours are attended to. Let's, let's go, if we were to look at this example, if you would equal 100 hours absent, here's the next example. If you're in the 11th grade, 20 absences times three periods is 50 hours. I, I guess we're talking 50 minute periods. So that's where those, those hours come in. And 12th grade is 20 absences times three periods is 50 hours. That's a total of 100 hours missed in one program. And so the difference could be in the former example of a 95% rate. In this example, we're talking about 100 hours missed. That's 89%. Now, so you did not even come close to that 95% expectation. So this is where hours are critical. Where it comes into play is usually in the junior and senior year, most likely in the senior year when parents and students discover, oh my goodness, I'm not going to be a program completer. Why? You will have to look back at your absences. And if those absences add up, as in these examples, then there's a good possibility that you will not complete as the graduating senior. So what happens if that occurs? Well, just depending upon your absentee rate, just depending upon your standing within each program, um, certainly will mean, mean that your grade will, will really um, be a lower grade, but it also may mean an impact on your ability to access financial aid, just depending upon where you fall on the spectrum as a senior. So it's really, really critical. And we're gonna answer some questions later on into tonight's program in regards to um, uh, your attendance, but it is really, really critical. The other piece that we want to uh, just just kind of uh, introduce to you are some program fees. Uh, between between both schools, we work together to really formulate just a kind of an agreement in regards to uh, program fees. But depending upon the program, depending upon the the equipment needed or the supplies needed, there may be just a little bit of variance in program fees. We are going to uh, mail you fee letters in June, uh, just depending upon just where things lie, and collections will start in August. If you have any questions in regards to those fees, please make sure you give us a call. We would be happy to answer any questions you may have in regards to fees or attendance. I just want to summarize and say I know that attendance seems very stringent. However, in a clock hour system, Attendance is really, really critical. Again, if you miss one day at Fred K. Marchman Technical College, it's the equivalent of missing three days. So again, attendance is critical. And as we get later into the program and later into the school year, we will give you more information in regards to fees. Thank you. So obviously important stuff we wanna make sure you are aware of. Fees definitely are different for different programs, but keep in mind when you look at that, it's oftentimes dependent on the equipment and materials you get. The most expensive program is cosmetology and it's a couple hundred dollars a year, but they walk away with an entire cart with all of their equipment that they're gonna need when they go to an actual job. So they're gonna have their buzzers, their clippers, they're gonna have their scissors, they're gonna have all that stuff that they need. So they're paying for their equipment, which is a big part of that. 
application timeline. We want to make sure that you know that we are actually going to have a second window. So you're joining us, get your friends to join us. May 3rd through 7th, they're actually going to reopen up the window because we do still have seats in a lot of our programs. So make sure you talk to your friends, let them know that we are still looking for more students and they should be applying May 3rd through 7th. We also want to remind you, this is a normal high school in regards to a lot of the fun stuff. We have homecoming, we have prom next year because hopefully this whole thing is gone and we are able to celebrate and do the things that we want to be doing. We do lots of awesome pep rallies. We have student council, spirit weeks, and our kids have a lot of spirit. We have a lot of fun. Um, so we're looking forward to getting back to doing that stuff. We also have a large club program. So lots of clubs that you can do and extra stuff to get involved in. So make sure when you come to K-Tech that you get involved and you participate in all the fun stuff that we're doing. Thanks again for everybody joining us and involved in this conversation. We do want to make sure you know that you can go onto our website and you can actually take video tours of any of the programs. We have students that take you through to see all the amazing things that our programs have to offer. And we're super excited. Give us a call or send us an email if you have any additional questions.